Metaprolol, Wikipedia article audio. 50% Medical uses Available forms Adverse effects Precautions Pregnancy and breastfeeding Overdose Pharmacology Mechanism of action Pharmacokinetics Chemistry Stereochemistry History Society and Culture Metaprolol, marketed under the trade name Low Presser among others, is a medication of the selective beta-1 receptor blocker type. It is used to treat high blood pressure, chest pain due to poor blood flow to the heart, and a number of conditions involving an abnormally fast heart rate. It is also used to prevent further heart problems after myocardial infarction and to prevent headaches in those with migraines. Metaprolol is sold in formulations that can be taken by mouth or given intravenously. The medication is often taken twice a day. The extended release formulation is taken once per day. Metaprolol may be combined with hydrochlorothiazide in a single tablet. Common side effects include trouble sleeping, feeling tired, feeling faint, and abdominal discomfort. Large doses may cause serious toxicity. Risk in pregnancy has not been ruled out. It appears to be safe in breastfeeding. Greater care is required with use in those with liver problems or asthma. Stopping this drug should be done slowly to decrease the risk of further health problems. Metaprolol was first made in 1969. It is on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines, the most important medications needed in a basic health system. It is available as a generic drug. In 2013, metaprolol was the 19th most prescribed medication in the United States. Metaprolol is used for a number of conditions, including hypertension, angina, acute myocardial infarction, supraventricular tachycardia, ventricular tachycardia, congestive heart failure, and prevention of migraine headaches. Due to its selectivity in blocking the beta-1 receptors in the heart, metaprolol is also prescribed for off-label use in performance anxiety, social anxiety disorder, and other anxiety disorders. Metaprolol is sold in formulations that can be taken by mouth or given intravenously. The medication is often taken twice a day. The extended release formulation is taken once per day. Metaprolol may be combined with hydrochlorothiazide in a single tablet. Side effects, especially with higher doses, include dizziness, drowsiness, fatigue, diarrhea, unusual dreams, trouble sleeping, depression, and vision problems. Metaprolol may also reduce blood flow to the hands or feet, causing them to feel numb and cold. Smoking may worsen this effect. Due to the high penetration across the blood-brain barrier, lipophilic beta blockers such as propranolol and metaprolol are more likely than other less lipophilic beta blockers to cause sleep disturbances such as insomnia and vivid dreams and nightmares. Serious side effects that are advised to be reported immediately include symptoms of bradycardia, persistent symptoms of dizziness, fainting and unusual fatigue, bluish discoloration of the fingers and toes, numbness-slash-tingling-slash-swelling of the hands or feet, sexual dysfunction, erectile dysfunction, hair loss, mental-slash-mood changes, depression, breathing difficulty, cough, dyslipidemia, and increased thirst. Consuming alcohol while taking metaprolol may cause mild body rashes and is not advised. 
Metaprolol may worsen the symptoms of heart failure in some patients, who may experience chest pain or discomfort, dilated neck veins, extreme fatigue, irregular breathing, an irregular heartbeat, shortness of breath, swelling of the face, fingers, feet or lower legs, weight gain, or wheezing. This medicine may cause changes in blood sugar levels or cover up signs of low blood sugar, such as a rapid pulse rate. It also may cause some people to become less alert than they are normally, making it dangerous for them to drive or use machines. Greater care is required with use in those with liver problems or asthma. Stopping this drug should be done slowly to decrease the risk of further health problems. Risk for the fetus has not been ruled out, per being rated pregnancy category C in the United States. Metaprolol is category C in Australia, meaning that it may be suspected of causing harmful effects on the human fetus. It appears to be safe in breastfeeding. Excessive doses of metaprolol can cause severe hypotension, bradycardia, metabolic acidosis, seizures, and cardiorespiratory arrest. Blood or plasma concentrations may be measured to confirm a diagnosis of overdose or poisoning in hospitalized patients or to assist in a medical legal death investigation. Plasma levels are usually less than 200 mg l during therapeutic administration, but can range from 120 mg l in overdose victims. General Pharmacological Principles of Metaprolol Metaprolol blocks beta-1 adrenergic receptors in heart muscle cells, thereby decreasing the slope of phase 4 in the nodal action potential and prolonging repolarization of phase 3. It also suppresses the norepinephrine-induced increase in the sarcoplasmic reticulum Ca2 plus leak and the spontaneous SRCA2 plus release, which are the major triggers for atrial fibrillation. Metaprolol has a short half-life of 3 to 7 hours, so is taken at least twice daily or as a slow-release preparation. It undergoes alpha-hydroxylation and odimethylation as a substrate of the cytochrome liver enzyme CYP2D6 and a small percentage by CYP3A4, resulting in inactive metabolites. Metaprolol has a very low melting point around 120 degrees Celsius for the tartrate, and around 136 degrees Celsius for the succinate. Because of this, metaprolol is always manufactured in a salt-based solution, as drugs with low melting points are difficult to work with in a manufacturing environment. The free base exists as a waxy white solid, and the tartrate salt is finer crystalline material. The active substance metaprolol is employed either as metaprolol succinate or as metaprolol tartrate. The tartrate is an immediate release formulation and the succinate is an extended release formulation. Metaprolol contains a stereocenter and consists of two enantiomers. This is a race mate, i.e. a 1 colon 1 mixture of, and the form. Metaprolol was first made in 1969. Metaprolol is on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines, the most important medications needed in a basic health system. It is available as a generic drug. In 2013, Metaprolol was the 19th most prescribed medication in the United States. Treatment of heart failure, vasovagal syncope, adjunct in treatment of hyperthyroidism, long QT syndrome, especially for patients with asthma, as metaprolol's beta-1 selectivity tends to interfere less with asthma drugs, which are often beta-2 adrenergic receptor agonist drugs, prevention of relapse into atrial fibrillation. Beta-1 selective moderately lipophilic, 
without intrinsic sympathomimetic activity, with weak membrane stabilizing activity, decreases heart rate, contractility, and cardiac output, therefore decreasing blood pressure.